What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record on OBS. Now, for all of my videos, I've been using OBS for the past two years, and I've had no issues with it, it's probably the best free recorder out there, and I have no plans to change on it either. So, whether you're recording gameplay, you're recording tutorials, or you just want to record your computer screen, I highly recommend using this software. Now, if you don't already have OBS, I will be putting a download link to it in the description. So here we are in OBS. Now, this is probably how your OBS will look once you open it up. And I know a lot of people get confused with this, but believe me, it's super simple. So I'll run over everything on screen right now. So over here to the side, we have scenes. Now, this mainly for those that live stream. If you're just going to be recording with OBS, this really won't be too much use to you. However, let's say you do tutorials like me, and then let's say you do gameplays at the same time. And also with your gameplays, let's say you use a webcam to show your face. So this is where we can press plus here, and we could call this, for example, gameplay. By the way, if you're not actually doing gameplay or tutorials, you can still follow along with this. I'm just using this as an example to show you how to set up your scene. From the next thing, you would head over to sources. So it's laid it out for us. We start on the left and we move across to the right, which is now sources, and we press the plus button. Now from here, you can use display capture, game capture, or video capture device. So video capture device, of course, if you have an Elgato, you can use that right here. But for most people, you can just get away using the display capture. And if you want to name it something, by all means you can. From there, select OK. Now. Notice it says display. If you have more than one monitor, for example, this is my uh, laptop screen. Say you have a second monitor like me. Now, this is actually my second monitor. The reason OBS has appeared is because I record with OBS as well. So just as an example, there you go. You can see my second monitor up. So select your monitor and I would say capture cursor to keep it checked. If you don't want it to be shown, of course, just uncheck it. From there, select OK. So what you've set up so far is just recording the screen. Now, if you have a webcam, you would then come back to the plus button. And from here, you would select video capture device. Now, you could call this webcam or face cam, whatever you want to, and select OK. Now, notice my webcam has come up. So if you have any other webcam, this is my built-in webcam on, uh, what's it called? On the laptop, so you can see it's not, well, it's pretty shit to be honest, but you get the idea. From there, I can select OK. Now notice in our video or our sources here, we have a display capture and we also have a video capture device. So select your video capture device, which of course will be your webcam and simply drag it from a corner and then position it where you wish to. So for example, I can keep it there. I can simply record and I will have my face on screen the entire time. From there, if you don't like it, or if you just want to see your gameplay, you can press the eye on your webcam. You can see it just hides it and brings it back. Super simple. Now moving over to the side, you'll notice we have a mixer tab. Now you might be wondering why is video capture device just showing up? Now this is your webcam. So if you're going to capture audio from the webcam, then um, of course turn it on. I wouldn't recommend it though, because the majority of webcams do have pretty bad audio quality. Anyway, but here we have mic, aux, and we also have desktop audio. Now desktop audio is gonna be the place where your music will be playing from. So this is where you will need to balance your microphone with your music, meaning your viewers need to be able to hear you. And the best way to find out if your music is too loud is to simply ask your viewers. Now that's heading into the live streaming part, so I'll leave that out because I'm going to be covering that in a different tutorial, but you get the idea from this. So desktop audio is what will capture your gaming audio. Now anything that is playing from your computer will be captured or picked up from desktop audio. So it's very, very important before recording a video if you are gaming to turn down the desktop audio so of course the people will be able to hear your microphone. So the best way to actually test this before even recording, record yourself and just play around with how uh, how the desktop audio works well for you. 
then just play a song in the background, keep talking, see if it is difficult to hear yourself. It's very important you get that part right if you're going to be gaming or if you have music in the background. Now over to the side here we have then scene transitions. So you can see we have a cut or a fade. Now scenes again is on the very left. If I click scene, you'll notice it fades out and fades back in. If I change that to cut, it's simply just a harsh cut. So it's completely up to you how you want it. Fade would probably be the best. Again, this will mainly be for those who are live streaming. For those that are recording, you wouldn't really use this. However, underneath, you do then get control of the duration of the uh, fade. So if you want to adjust it, by all means, you can. Now, moving over again to the side, we do have a start recording button. However, you're not 100% ready just yet. You need to come down and select settings. So this is where everything is for you. So the majority of things you'll actually skip out. For example, general, you won't need to deal with. However, for whatever reason, if your language does mess up, you can come here and choose your language. So we're going to go over to the output tab. Now, these are the settings I have been using for probably over two years. My output mode, I keep in simple. Now, ignoring the streaming part, because to be honest, I don't stream. We skip straight over to the recording section. Now the recording path, this is where your videos will save. So it's important that you put it in a place where you know will be safe. If you have a second hard drive, for example, then of course you can select it by selecting browse and putting it there. And below we have recording quality and I have mine set to same as stream and you can as well. And I do recommend don't go any lower than the middle one here. And finally, the recording format, this is where most people mess up because when you first download OBS, I believe the recording is MKV or FLV and people get messed up. It happened to me the first time I had OBS and it was pretty annoying. So important step, select MP4. From there, you can skip here and you can go across to audio. Now, where it says desktop audio device, this is basically where your audio from your computer will be coming from. Now, for example, this is my second monitor, LG here. Speakers is my laptop and default is going to be connected to my LG monitor. So I would select that and that's where my audio would be coming from. Of course, if you wear headphones then you can select it from here if it appears. If it doesn't, then by default, it should be under default. If not, you're just going to have to play around and you find out which one it is. Then we have microphone audio device. Very important you have a microphone. It doesn't matter which one, as long as you have a microphone, it just saves you a lot more time. So mine is right here. It should appear here as well. If you have more than one microphone, then by all means, select them right here. Then below, if you want to set these things up, it is completely optional. Again, probably not necessary if you're recording. Most likely live streamers would use this part. Then moving on to video. So the base canvas resolution, of course, you can select 1920 by 1080. That's the one I always pick. That's the one I recommend you pick as well. Or 1280 by 720. You don't really want to go lower than this because then it's not going to be HD. The output scaled resolution, again, I'm going to have mine the exact same. I do recommend you match what you put in the base canvas resolution because it won't really make a difference if you upscale it after. Then we have the downscale filter. Now mine is let's have linear and you can see that's actually the well supposedly the worst one. However, it works very well for me and I recommend you use the same as well. Then we have the uh, FPS. So this is the frame rate, of course, and the best results is going to be 60 frames per second. However, if your PC can't run that, then I do recommend uh, 30 frames per second. Lowest would be 24 frames. Now, final thing, which is completely optional. If you want to set up some shortcuts, if you want to stop and start recording, that's if you really need to do it. And again, this is where scene comes into play. So you can see it shows gameplay here and it shows the scene settings we can set up. But anyway, once you've done all of them settings, you can finally select apply and OK. And from there, you're ready to record. The next thing you do is simply select start recording. Now I would select it. However, like I said, as you can see, I do record with OBS and I've been recording this for 12 minutes. I don't really want to mess up the recording, but all you would do is select start recording. And then this is how your OBS would look. So at the bottom right, it'll tell you the record time, tell you the CPU it's using. It'll also tell you the frames per second. 
and then here, once you finish recording, you'll simply select stop recording.